We'll go to part two of our Get Up series. Today, we're covering seven common problems that happen in the second half of the Get Up. The low sweep to windmill, the half kneeling position, and the lunge to stand. In part one, we learned how to fix all those little things that can go wrong in the first half of the Get Up, so if you haven't seen that one yet, check it out. Problem number one placing the sweeping leg at the wrong angle. This is a problem because it takes our spine out of a neutral position, and it just makes the next step, the hip hinge, hard. When placing your knee on the floor in the low sweep, make sure the knee and the foot of the leg that you're sweeping make a straight line with your down hand. Problem number two, shooting the leg too far back. This is a problem because it makes it really hard to use your hip hinge to transition into the tall kneeling, which is your next step. To fix this, on your low sweep, place your knee directly under your hip. Make sure the knee, foot, and hand make a straight line on the ground. Your knee should be approximately one spine length or one forearm length away from your down hand. Problem number three not sweeping the leg far enough back. This is a problem because it puts you in this really tight, crowded position, and it doesn't leave you enough space to transition into your tall kneeling position. To fix this, it's exactly the same as the last one. Place the knee directly under the hip and make sure your knee, foot, and hand form a straight line on the ground. The knee should be approximately one spine length or one forearm length away from the down hand. Here's an easy way to check your positioning. With no bell, check the distance between your hand and your knee by just placing your forearm on the ground. Roughly a forearm's length away means you've placed your knee in a good spot. Problem number four, skipping the hip hinge. This is a problem because you're trying to use just these little oblique muscles to get the bell up into the tall kneeling position and you're not using your hips. The hip hinge is a way stronger, way safer way to get the bell up. To fix this, do an open half kneeling hip hinge and transfer the weight over your legs so you can unload the down hand. Then come up into the tall kneeling position. Problem number five, looking up at the bell during the lunge to stand. This is a problem because it takes the spine out of a neutral position. To fix this, you need to know that the gaze transition happens during the hip hinge in the getup. During the getup, look up at the bell the whole time until you reach the tall kneeling position. During the tall kneeling and standing positions, look straight ahead. Problem number six, having a soft core. This is a problem because it makes your lunge unstable and weak and it could cause you to lose control of the bell. You don't want your core to be soft during any point of the guest. To fix this, before you stand, brace your abs hard and make a tight fist with your free hand. To come up, drive hard through your front foot and your back toes and use a power breath. Hit your tight standing plank in the standing position. Problem number seven, front foot is too close to the body. This is a problem because it's just not a strong lunge position and it often causes that front heel to pop up, which is unstable and weak. To fix this, during the lunge to stand, make sure that front knee is bent at approximately 90 degrees. Keep your entire foot and heel planted and drive the whole surface of your front foot into the ground to stand up. Cool, well that wraps up part two of our Get Up series. If this was helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us share more of these strength tips with you. And we'll see you in part three, where we're gonna work on fixing the get down part of the get up. So, see you there.